Welcome back to Ask Allison. Here's today's question. I'm a new MSW. I'm working as a medical social worker at a hospital. I'm also seeing a couple clients per week in a virtual private practice. However, I know I'll need to get more therapy experience before I start my own private practice. Do you suggest a certain amount of time and agency work before I have sufficient experience to ethically and effectively start stuff setting off on my own in private practice? Thank you so much. Great question. Before I answer it, I'd like to thank Therapy Notes. They are sponsoring Ask Allison. They're the number one rated electronic health record system available today. With live telephone support seven days a week, it's clear why Therapy Notes is rated 4.9 out of five stars on Trustpilot and has a five-star rating on Google. Therapy Notes makes billing, scheduling, note-taking, and telehealth incredibly easy. And for you prescribers out there, they also offer e-prescribe. If you're coming from another EHR, Therapy Notes makes the transition incredibly easy, importing your demographic data free of charge so you can get going right away. Find out what more than 100,000 mental health professionals already know. Use promo code ABUNDANT at therapynotes.com for two free months. So if you know what your niche is, I want you to see those clients as much as you can in the virtual practice you're a part of and have a supervisor that is clinically aspirational for you. In my controversial experience, ex controversial opinion. If you have a great supervisor and your license allows it, it's a great way to get started in private practice ASAP if that's what you want. People get all up in arms about getting experience first, paying your dues, cutting your teeth, and I hate that. There is a supposition there that the clients seeking treatment in, say, community mental health are more deserving of therapists cutting their teeth that working with them is paying your dues. In community mental health, you're working with clients who have fewer resources. It is harder work in a million different ways than private practice. It's valuable work, it's necessary work, but it's not necessary for every single therapist to experience. The system is not able to properly support a new therapist appropriately for challenges they may face working with the population that they're working with. Most of my community mental health clients were struggling with systemic issues that I couldn't make a substantive dent in, therapeutically. There was just no way. So there's a parallel process in most community mental health agencies with clinicians where there's systemic issues that you're not going to be able to make a dent in. I'm going to get pretty candid here. The social worker in me would much rather you cut your teeth with private practice clients who have other options if your experience or your skill level isn't what they're looking for. Your imposter syndrome may have just reared its ugly head when I said that, most therapists underestimate their clinical skills. And again, having an amazing supervisor who isn't assigned to you, one that you found that inspires you clinically, is going to help reduce client churn. It's going to increase your confidence. It's going to increase your skills. I'll also say some of the presenting concerns I worked with in community mental health weren't really what I was interested in developing my skills in. I believe that it's important for people in active psychosis to have support but I personally, sorry, I personally didn't want to spend my career doing that work. I wanted to spend my career getting really, really good at my niche. I didn't get that much of an opportunity to do that in community mental health. And if I'd spent the years that I worked for other people in my own practice with an amazing supervisor, seeing the clients that I really wanted to hone my skills with, I'd have felt much more confident and been much more competent sooner. So that whole thing was a rant. <laughs> Today's free worksheet is seven questions to ask when interviewing a supervisor in case you want to move forward with your own practice sooner rather than later. Have a great rest of your day.